Hello everybody, happy Friday. Here we are again, third Friday of January. I know I keep hearing people say January is like a month full of Mondays. I like January. I love the routine and the calmness after the holidays. I don't know, it just makes me a whole lot happier than the craziness. I see you guys jumping on. Hello, hello. Okay, good. I am, let me make sure I can find you guys. All right, hopefully you guys have had a good week and are staying warm wherever you are. We had our one cold snap of the year um, this week. We had ice, which was, you know, like a big deal around here. They didn't cancel school. The kids are very upset. Um, but I said, you know, they don't cancel school for cold. It has to be like, you can't drive there for them to close. But anyhow, we are a little bit cold today, but not too terribly bad. Um, I know there's another storm coming through. I don't know how you guys up north do these cold, winter storms one after the other. Ugh, I would not survive up north for sure. Hi everybody, good to see you. I'm very excited about today's projects. Um, we're using the Sending Love bundle from the spring mini catalog. Uh, this is probably one of my top three favorites in the whole catalog. Um, it's very cute. The little mailbox, you can stamp it or you can paper piece it, which is my favorite way to do things. Cut out all the pieces, which is what we're gonna do on the first card. And then, I gave you a little sneak peek earlier today, I recreated a 3D mailbox that I made a long time ago when I was an artisan on the artisan design team. And I simplified it and made it pretty easy. Um, I think you guys are gonna like it and I'm excited to share it with you. So we'll get to that um in just a minute let me um share a few things with you will somebody go check my blog make sure the pdf is up it should be there you know you have to time all these things to go right at the right moment the same moment so hopefully the one thing i do forget to do with a pdf is to make it shareable like when you upload something to google docs you have to tell them like yes people can see this document and i forget that little that little button a lot of the time. So if that's ever, a, if you guys ever click on the PDF and it says restricted, just message me. It's just a lot of clicking you have to do to get it all there. Thank you, Trisha. I appreciate it. All right. So PDF is there. Free PDF for you um, that has the measurements and supply list for today. Um, all right. Let's talk about my Be Mine class to go. Um, I have the deadline for this class to go today, um, but I'm going to leave it open through Sunday and I'm going to put in my final order first thing Monday morning because if I put in the order today, it's the same as if I put it in Monday. So I'll just keep it open and through the weekend. Um, if you guys can see right back here, I've already started die cutting, scoring, punching, cutting paper, doing all of that. So um, leaving it open a couple of days isn't going to change anything, um, but if you want to register for this class to go, um, this is, it features the Be Mine stamps with a little Bee Builder punch. And there are six projects. They're not all specifically Valentine's Day, but they really are Valentine's themed. Um, you can always change that, you know, to say something else. But um, the cutest one I think is the little beehive. It says Be Mine. I guess they are Valentine themed because you probably wouldn't use Be Mine any other time, right? Um, but there's three cards also, um, a little bit there. Well, I guess they are all pretty simple fun folds. All right. So three cards, three 3d projects, you get a quarter pack of the, the be mine paper, a quarter pack of the most adorned paper, which we're going to use today. Um, you get six projects, a bolt of ribbon and a pack of embellishments. Um, you can get it with a bundle, without the bundle. So this will be the last time I tell you about it. Those of you that have ordered your, your kits, all of them will be going out late next week. My goal is Friday, but Thursday would be even better, right? Um, so that is that. I can't list that link on my blog or on Facebook. I can only send it through email. So if you want to register for the Be Mine class, I sent the link on Wednesday if you're on my email list. Um, or you can just send me an email and I'll send it to you, okay? You can get it with the PDF. I mean, they all come with a PDF. With a bundle, without the bundle, PDF only, and then there's a discounted kit for my team. Um, something I wanna say about my PDF store, you guys. About a year ago, I had to 
in my PDF store, you can pay for PDFs by PayPal. And I used to have the credit card option on there. And a year ago, the credit card processor got hacked and there was all kinds of horrible, it was a big mess. So I took that option off because I didn't trust that credit card processor anymore. Um, if you ever wanna buy a PDF and you don't wanna pay PayPal, just email me because I can send you, you know, a square invoice and you can pay with your credit card. Um, I, I wish I could put that somewhere on the store, but there's no really place for me to say that. But just, I know some of you don't want to do PDF, uh, do PayPal. So if you want a PDF and you want to use a credit card, just message, email me, and I'll, I can take care of that for you. Okay? Um, so Lori's asking about this. So yes, um, Stampin' Storage sells magnet sheets like all different sizes. And so that's two of their largest, I think it's the largest magnet sheet. And I got just some light, like, a, oh, you, I don't know what it's called. In the plumbing area of Home Depot, there's like shower backing board and it's actually like dry erase board. So when I was a teacher, I would buy it and give it to my kids and they would dry erase. I bought that because it's lightweight, put the magnet on it because I didn't want to attach the magnet to my wall and then boop, boop, two little screws at the top. So yes, magnet on the top. And then I was going to put magnet down here, but I found the dies that I have a lot of, like circles and things that I use for cutting lots of things out. I got little um, command hooks and hang them on there and I actually like that better because if you have fingernails, it's hard to get them off the magnet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I keep seeing that thumbs up bubble. I don't know. I think maybe people are pushing the thumbs up. Maybe. I don't know. That's a new Facebook thing. I don't know. I see it too. I don't know. I'm not touching anything. Who knows? There, I see. But that's different. <laughs> I don't know. You know, they change this without telling us. But yeah, the command hooks are good. The little, like, um, not the, like it has a plastic hook, but it has like a little metal hook that's like almost like a paper clip, you know? If I do a thumbs up, does it go? Is that what it does? No, I didn't do it. Um, it's like a little paper clip and it kind of swings. Those are the clips I like the best. Okay, let me turn you guys around um, real quick. Um, you think it's recognizing me? So you guys can see that thumbs up bubble. That's weird. I don't know. I wish they would bring back some of the things they've taken back. Oh, let's see. Let me switch this. Whoa. No, no, no. Stay. Uh-oh. My phone's doing something weird. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I wish they would bring back some of the features they took away rather than bringing stupid features that we don't need, like thumbs up bubbles. <laughs> um, okay. This thing, I'm not going to leave here because you can see my lights, but I just want to remind you um, where's my chamois? I want to remind you about the starter kit special this month. This actually it's through the end of February. If you look at the back of your celebration catalog, you can read the details. The, um, starter kit is $99 and normally you get $125 in product for $99 plus free shipping celebration. Same thing, but you also get this glass mat studio. It comes with this awesome glass mat this uh, silicone tray mat thing, and then this chamois. Um, it's a $60 value. You get that added on and no additional cost. Now, if this glass mat is not for you, if you're like, yeah, I don't really want that, or maybe you already have one, there's a second option. And I don't think I've verbalized that because I was so excited about the glass mat, but I wanted you guys to know too that there's a second option. If you don't want the glass mat, you can get a hundred and what's, three, four, five, $155. <laughs> Did you see me do math <laughs> real quick? $155 in product of your choice for just $99. That's an amazing deal. Um, so I just, I was thinking about that this week, how I hadn't really pointed it out. And in the, the photo, it makes you think like that's the product that you would get, but it's anything you want. They just up your amount that you can choose. Like instead you're like, oh, I don't want the glass mat then they'll say, okay, you have 30 more dollars of stuff to choose to be included in your starter kit. Um, this runs through the end of February. We have an extra day in February this year, February 29th. And um, as you know, during celebration, when you shop, um, you get a free thing, a free product from this catalog with every either 50 or $100 that you spend. 
Um, I can honestly say I love everything in here. Uh, we're gonna use this paper today. Let me go back to it. The most adorned paper. And I'm seeing when you guys register for classes and my clubs and they add it on, uh, it feels like people are choosing this the most out of everything. This and, um, oh, the, the second most uh, favorited thing I think would be the um, happiest hellos, heartfelt hellos, that stamp set. That's a really good one too. So anyway, that's that. If you spend $50 at stampnap.com, you choose one thing. If you spend $100, you choose two things or um, one of these $100 free items. Now, if you buy the starter kit, you don't get things from this catalog because you're getting that extra, either the glass mat or the extra $55 to spend, okay? And then when you buy the starter kit, then you become a demonstrator. You get your own demo ID, which means you get that 20% discount. And then when you go back to put in your first order, you will earn celebration items on all of your orders, just not your starter kit order. Okay, um, lighter than air. How many, what do we have? One more Friday, right, in, in January. Okay, so we have about, what is it, the 19th? We have about, I don't know, a little less than two weeks left in January. Our subscription period is open for the All-Star video tutorial class bundle PDF. It's <laughs> a long name. Um, this is something I have teamed up with 11 other demonstrators around the world, and we uh, design a project each month using one of the uh, suites in the catalog. And this month we're using the Lighter Than Air suite. Um, you can earn this for free if you spend $50 with me. So not only are you going to get a celebration item, but you're also going to get this from me by email. Um, but if you are not going to shop with me, which I get, some of you are already demonstrators, some of you have a demonstrator, um, but you would like the PDF, we have a subscription period open in uh, January. It's only open in January and July. And when you subscribe, it's $15 a month, and that sixth month is free. And you can either pay monthly or you can pay all in one lump sum. Um, this is only open through the end of the month. So if you're interested in this, there is a link on my blog post today and on this PDF right here. If you click on that, it'll take you over there. There's a, um, the, all the details because I usually butcher it. If you want to read the details about it, it'll give you all the details. And then... Um, you can subscribe. There's a button there too to subscribe. Also, oh, it does. You know, Carla, I like I said, there's so many things to click when I when I do a blog post, the, especially Facebook Friday. Let me grab my computer so I can fix that. One of the things that I do when I do a Facebook Friday blog post, and if you read my blog, you probably have noticed this. I'll take last week's post and just like copy, like copy paste and then do all the changes and stuff. So one of the things I forget to do every single time is change this, like the focus photo, you know, on the front page. I don't know why it's like way down. You have to scroll to see it. So I forget to do that all the time. Ugh, thank you, Carla, for telling me. Okay. So anyway, here's this. Um, subscription is open. You can also just buy it from my PDF store if you don't want to subscribe um, for the next six months. It's available. There's a tab at the top of my blog that says PDF store and you'll find it in there. They're listed alphabetically so you have to kind of scroll to find it. Um, okay, Club Create. Uh, this next month, February's Club Create features the um, Perennial Lavender Suite. It's going to use both these stamp sets and dies. Four cards and a super cute hand sanitizer flower pot. So cute. Um, this is my personal subscription kit program. Um, it's $45 a month. You get about $25 in product in your kit. And I have this month's kit. I just finished them yesterday. I thought I would show you guys what they look like. Um, so you always are going to get some product. So this month's kit had a full pack of this paper and a full pack of the twine. So you'll use that on your five projects, but then you're gonna have a ton left over to make other things, right? Um, this month's kit also had a half pack, 
<laughs> of, of the dots, okay? And then there are um, five projects always, five projects, four cards, and this month we had a little treat holder and a, a thank you tag. So they don't come, there's no stamped images, you guys know, that's a big no-no. Um, I have been using these new little, I don't know, what do you call these? document holders and I love the way they just keep everything in there so if you don't do your kit right when it comes you can do it um it, you can keep it in here and it'll be nice and organized for you um hopefully you guys like them too hopefully they are surviving the trip in the mail but anyway this is what they look like but this kit is already done right now if you subscribe your first kit will be the perennial lavender kit and um Sonia, I get them on Amazon. If you'll email me, I'll send you a link to the ones that I use. Um, I've tried lots of different ones, and these are, in my opinion, the best. Um, so subscription period for this ends on February 7th, if you want to join in for February. Now, it's a subscription, which means it will continue to charge you each month on the day you sign up. However, you can cancel anytime. There's no um, penalty um, you know, you're not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> None of that. If you want to sign up for one month, sit out for a couple months, sign up again, that's totally fine. Every, lots of people do that. Um, but if you stay six consecutive months, I reward you with a $25 product credit that you can shop. You include in your, um, I put in your sixth month club create kit as a little reward. Okay. Okay, uh, there's a tab at the top of my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. It says Club Create. Click there. Details are there. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so I did something weird today. I put up my... So I have a big window here, you guys know, and I've been struggling with the light situation. And I was thinking that maybe the light coming through the window was washing out all these lights I have up here. And so I put up a room darkening curtain over the window. <laughs> to see and I don't know it looks a little bit brighter to me I'll have to see in the replay I don't know it's weird though because it's like right here in my face and it feels like almost a little claustrophobic okay we are almost ready to stamp let's do prizes I forgot prizes last week so Carol Koraleski you are the winner from January what was January the 5th I think Carol I think I have your mailing address, but you know what? Email me just to make sure, okay? We all move. I, I never know. Um, last week's winner is Cindy Evans. You're winning the lovely and sweet bundle. Cindy, I don't know. Message me or email me, please, with your um, address so I make sure to send it to the right place. This week's prize is going to be the Beach Day Bundle. I cannot wait to play with this bundle. Um, it's so cute. If you would like to win, all you have to do is share the video on either Facebook or YouTube. Put in the comments that you shared. And then each week I just pick somebody at random and I mail it to you as a thank you for sharing the video. Okay, I think we are ready. Let me get all of this situated. Every, oh, wouldn't it? No, I'm not going to speak it to the universe, but it just makes me nervous. All these things over here. <laughs> There's a lot. Okay, so I, I've got this to the side. Let me move it over here so I can make sure to see what you guys are saying. So this week we are doing, we are using Sending Love. Over on my blog, pinkbuckroo.com, there is a free PDF. It's under the last photo. There are a lot of photos today of our last project, um, but it, there's a little icon that says click here for the PDF. PDF has all the measurements, supply list, and it has links to those things that I just talked to you about, okay? If you like today's projects and you would like them as a project kit, um, I send them for free with anybody who spends over $35 with me between now and Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want. If you already have this bundle, I, I don't care, order cardstock, order adhesive, whatever you want. As long as your order is over $35 and you use this week's host code, I'm gonna mail this to you on Wednesday. And it looks like this. You'll need the stamps. You'll need these two things, stamps and dies. Uh, these, these dies. I don't stamp anything that's against the rules. So you have to have the stamps. Of course, you can always use what you have. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly the same. If you get, if you get the project kit, you're like, eh, I didn't really like that. You, you can use the 
pieces to make other cards, right? I do send you a little thank you tag in there each week as well. But this is what they look like. Deadline for these, uh, this order is Monday at midnight, okay? Now, here's the other thing. If your order, if you're gonna put in a big order, and it's over $150, don't use that host code because then you're gonna earn Stampin' Rewards. At, at $150, you start earning rewards on your order, and I want you to get those freebies. And if I see that you put in an order over $150, I'm gonna send you the project kit no matter what, um, even if you don't use that host code, because I do want you to get those freebies. But then if you order is under 150 and you use that host code, that helps me replenish. Like I use that to order cardstock and ribbon and all that to make the future kits, if that makes sense. Okay, that's it, that's it. Let's start, let's start stamping. Um, in case you guys haven't seen this catalog, if you need a catalog, please let me know. I have some, I'd love to send them to you. This is our new, I call it the new mini catalog. It's the spring mini, it goes through the end of April. All right, before we start on project number one, let me grab my tray. I have to show you the paper that we are using because I adore it. It's called the Most Adorned, right? So, you know, I know these names and then I start questioning myself as soon as I say them on a Facebook Live. Most Adorned Designer Series Paper. And this is specialty paper. And specialty paper means it has foil. So you can see it's foil. But funny enough, I've only used the non-foil sides. I love the non-foil sides so much, I can't not use them. So this paper is one of your free choices, free with a $50 order. And it has 12 sheets, 12 by 12, double-sided. One side has gold, one side has like pink and reds. So this one we're gonna use on the first card. Here's the gold in the back. Little hearts. This is the piece, I have, have about four packs of this paper and this is the piece that I've used out of all those packs. I was gonna, I had to open a new pack to show you guys the papers because my pack didn't have any more of this paper in it. <laughs> my four packs, I used them all. Um, I made swaps of these cards and I'm gonna tell you guys a really sad story about swaps here in a minute. And you guys can just, be sad for me. This one I also love. I, I do believe I've used this pattern, really pretty. Another plaid, little marbling with gold, and then some pink marbling, and then some gold flowers. So if you haven't chosen this as your free item with your $50 purchase, I would say bump it up on your list because it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, first card that we're gonna make is a card that I actually made um, for my team swap, my downline, my team, my team's name is the Sweet Stampede. We have a monthly swap. I don't get to participate in every month just because I'm so busy, but I did um, participate in this last, in the January, and this was the card that I made. Um, our swap theme was new catalog products, and it was really fun. It was a fun card to make. Um, the dies. Okay, let's talk about the dies. I have done some things ahead of time for this card. Let me zoom in a little bit. I feel like the camera's really far away, just a little bit. Okay, now you guys start yelling at me if it gets, if it's too close, okay? Um, well, not yelling at me, you know, nicely say, hey, <laughs> move your camera. Okay, so you can stamp your, your. Um, I almost called it an umbrella. What's wrong with me? Your mailbox. And yesterday's blog post had this card on it. Okay, so I did that. But then for this card, we're gonna paper piece it. And you're gonna take this die right here and cut out, this is your mailbox. So I've cut that out of real red. And then you're gonna cut out your, um, your mailbox post right here out of pecan pie. I've cut two of these grass pieces right here from Garden Green. And I've cut the um, little flag right here from Basic Black. Now we're gonna fold over, let me grab, we're gonna need a couple clothes pens. We're gonna fold this over and um, I will tell you that you really need to put your glasses on and get in good light so you can see exactly where you need to fold that. Fold it in half and then down here there's another fold line, another um, score line if you will, and you're gonna wanna fold that in like that, 
okay? And burnish that with your your bone folder. And then you're gonna we're gonna put adhesive right here and adhere it like that. But before we do that, let's stamp the little word, the mail, mail word on the mailbox. Now I <laughs> I'm just like everybody else and I mount my stamps crooked all the time. So I have to make sure these, these clean mount, I have to see how, if I try to do it straight, it's up a little bit on the back side. So I'm gonna stamp it with the, the right side down a little bit, okay? Or use your Stamparatus to make sure it's perfect. Mine's not gonna be perfect. It's a little bit crooked, oh well. That's fine. All right, so now, <laughs> all that practice, and I still got it a little bit crooked. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use liquid glue. You can use tear and tape if you want. And don't put too much, because you don't want it to squish out. And then fold over. And I'm gonna take my clothespins, my handy dandy mini clothespins, and just kind of squeeze that clothes for a few minutes. All right. Now I have also cut out a postage, perennial postage, what's it called? Let me look at my list. A perennial postage rectangle, basic white, second largest, not the largest, it's the second largest. And we're gonna adhere this, this stuff with dimensionals while we wait for that to dry. Now, the other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp some of these letters, really cute letters. And the letter, the little envelope has, um, let me think, do I wanna put this on first? Let me put this on first. Um, it has a rectangle die to cut out the envelope. But in my opinion, it's just faster and easier just to cut it out with your scissors. But I know some of you, let's see, how's that gonna fit? Right there, perfect. Some of you are like, nope, I don't trust my cutting. That's fine, that's why they provided us with a die. All right, so let's put that little grass right there. Eh, that needs to go in just a little bit, put it a little bit higher. And then let's stamp our envelope. Um, no, I haven't put the flag on it yet. Um, I'm not going to put it on with a brad. I'm just going to glue it. I'm not going to do anything super fancy. You could, if you do a brad, then it can move. But I'm not going to do that. I'm a little bit lazy, Lorraine. <laughs> I'm a little bit lazy. That's a lot of work to do that. Okay, wait, we don't want, we don't want this color. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my chamois? I, it's funny, I don't know about you guys, but when I do a swap card or I'm cutting paper for something and I go back later on, I can remember what I was watching on TV. Like I can remember when I was putting these together for my swap, watching um, The Crown is what I was watching when I was making these. And that's what pops in my head when I look at these pieces. It's so weird how the brain works like that. This was back in December. Have you guys watched the last season of The Crown? It is excellent. It is so good. The last episode was perfection. All right, so I'm stamping on our most adorned designer series paper. We're gonna do two here with the hearts. We're gonna do one of the plaid. And we've got a flirty flamingo and a smoky slate. All right, so here, now just, I'm just gonna snip, snip. Yes, there is a die. Like I was saying, I just think it's, a little faster to do it this way. Hi, Shannon, thank you. Thanks for the share, I appreciate it. So let's just cut these out, giving our mailbox some time to dry. Now, I saw somebody uh, cut their, um, their mailbox out of the some of the gingham paper and it was super cute. So. You know, I'm in like Valentine mode right now, so it was really hard for me to think outside of Valentine's Day colors. Um, but I think that this mailbox, and especially the one we're gonna make at the end, would be so cute if you just used regular, you know, like a blue color. It would be really cute. All right, so 
my sad story that I was going to tell you is that I did another swap at the end, right before Christmas. I rushed, made these cards. I made uh, 40 something cards send to the swap. She'll swap them out, right? And then she mails them all back to you and you end up with 40 different cards. You make the same ones, 20 and 20, the same ones. And then you get about 40 back of different cards. And those are, you know, sometimes when I show you guys cards, different samples of cards, that's how I get those cards. Well, guess what? It got lost in the mail. It is, my friends in Minnesota, if you would please go to the St. Paul post office and tell them I need my swaps, I would great, greatly appreciate it. <laughs> I filled out a claim. I'm putting this with dimensionals. I filled out a claim. My local postal, um, what do they call it? Postmaster here in my area called me on the phone and said, I got your request to find your missing mail. And she said, it hasn't been scanned, which I could see on the tracking. Hasn't been scanned since the seventh. So you probably just need to consider it officially lost and fill out the, the refund claim. And I'm so sad. I don't even care about the money. I really just wanted those projects, those little pieces of art. So you guys, I'm, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna just hold out hope that those swaps are gonna show up and I'm gonna be able to show them to you. Now I'm putting these in here with glue. I may have put this last one in with a dimensional, but I'm just gonna put it in with glue. So we're gonna do this like they're falling out of the mailbox. Let's go ahead and put our, our little flag. So yeah, you know, it's one thing to have lost mail if something that can be replaced. Yes, Trisha, officially lost. It's one thing, you know, like if it's something that can be replaced, but you can't replace 40 something swaps that 40 different people made you. Um, yeah, I know. Well, Carol, I, I think it's probably on the floor of some post office got shoved under the, you know, something and got it's just missing. I don't, I don't think it got delivered anywhere. I think it's just either got damaged and they trashed it or it's, you know, fell between the cracks somewhere. <laughs> when I was in college, um, I was going, my husband was stationed in Germany. He was in the military and I was going to go see him and I had to get a passport and um, the passport didn't come, didn't come, didn't come. It was the day before my trip and it didn't come. And I went to the post office and I was like a hysterical college student crying about my, um, my passport and the guy I'm standing like in the back you know like where the trucks pull in and the guy was like well let me just go look around and he came he's like oh yeah I found it here it was all like dirty so who knows I don't know what how does that happen don't they know these things are important to us <sighs> I know anyways here's our most adorned designer series paper the little pink hearts basic white card base and we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. Hi, Judy. So that's the first time I've ever had swaps go missing. And I know some of you, when I have mailed you stuff, we've had things go missing. I think majority of the time, I usually have extra where I can you know, send you a new class kit or whatever. But this was very sad because you can't replace them. I know, Laura, I know, I don't know, don't get me started. You know what, I will say though, I was really touched that my local postmaster woman called me on the phone to tell me that she looked for it, looked into it. I guess when you fill it out online, you can fill out a missing mail form and then it kind of prompts them to go look for it or do something about it. The fact that she called me, I was super impressed. Unfortunately, she didn't have good news for me. And I will tell you also, guys, um, if you ever have something that's like that, because what it says on the tracking is in transit to next destination. The people at the post office can see more details about that. Um, I've done that in the past for somebody else's package. She could say, oh, I, your end says this, but on my end, it says it was scanned here and scanned here also. So don't ever hesitate to at least attempt to see if you, they'll help you. Sometimes they don't wanna help, but I was really happy that she did. Isn't that a cute card? Maybe I'll send that to her as a thank you. Um, 
So Shelly says that Minneapolis St. Paul Post Office is short staffed per little comment. Okay, Shelly, that's good news. Okay, and you know what's really funny is that one of you, I, Rosemary, I think it was, she had emailed me. I'm not done here. We need to stamp something on the inside. She, I, had, I had mailed her something the exact same day, January 3rd. And um, it her, didn't, it didn't arrive. So she asked me, I looked and it was the exact same thing on the exact same day. It said in transit, taking longer than expected. And she was in Wisconsin, so it was up north. So then I was like, well, maybe it's a weather issue. She ended up getting hers and mine hasn't shown up, but maybe it still will. That, Shelly, that gives me hope. Maybe they're just taking a long time, right? Let's hope, because I will cry if that shows up. I really will cry. Okay, I'm going to stamp Happy Valentine's Day. This um, card could be anything. Miss you, I think would be cute. Thinking of you, something like that. But I'm going to stamp Happy Valentine's Day. And that Happy Valentine's Day is from the Be Mine Suite, or Be Mine Stamp Set. It's not from the stamp set. All right, and then let's stamp the little heart. I can't stamp this envelope without stamping the heart in the middle. And then there you go. How cute is the little gingham bow? The black and vanilla check bow. I love it so much. There you go. Easy card. I mean, really pretty easy, right? I think so. Okay, so I talked for a long time and that took way longer than it should. So let me grab my other tray. This one is even easier. And this is the card I actually sent in for that swap um, in December. And hopefully everybody got their swaps. You know, the swap coordinator has been wonderful. Her name is Carol. She's really tried to help. Um, and she said nobody else had reported their things missing. So was, I guess it was just my turn, my turn to have missing mail. Anyhow, this is the card I made for that swap. I wanted to make a card um, that shows you don't have to use that mailbox, right? The mailbox for sure is the star of the show here, but there's all these other cute little things, especially this little envelope. It's so stinking cute. So let me show you this envelope. Where are my dies? Buried over here. All right, so this is the envelope die right here. And see how it has one side that's not pointy? Um, you're gonna wanna pay attention to that. That's the, the part you fold in first. Okay, so I have cut them out of real red and basic black. You fold in those sides, and then here's the non-pointy side. You fold that up and over. Now you can leave your envelope open. We're gonna leave this one open so that our little letter can stick out. Oh, good, Cindy, perfect timing. Um, Cheryl, what PDF are you looking for in your mail? Are you looking for this PDF? for today's Facebook Friday. All right, so a little bit of glue, and I always do just a little too much. And I'm gonna use my clothespins again to hold that closed. And then we'll do the same one. This is the only time in my life I've seen help wanted signs at the post office window. It's due to retirements and no one wanted to work anymore. Nancy, amen, I, amen. I know, it's crazy times, right? Everybody is crazy. It's crazy times. Well, and I think that the post office, and I don't want to talk bad about the post office. They're going through changes. They're, you know, it's a government agency. There's money issues. There's government stuff. This PDF, Cheryl, is on my blog post. It's not in your email. Go to pinkbuckaroo.com. It's in that first post. Scroll underneath it. I mean, scroll down and you'll find it towards the bottom. Okay, so see how I'm gonna, I glued this one completely closed. I, you know, I feel bad for the postal workers. Um, my, I knew my mail lady at my other house pretty well. And she was telling me that they were gonna have to, they were told they were gonna have to work, she was working five days a week, but they were gonna have to work for six days a week, like mandatory and get paid less. That's what she was telling me. Something crazy like that. I felt really bad. I thought, God, who's going to want to do that? You know, like, you, good luck getting people to do that. I felt really bad. She's a super hard worker. And, uh, you know, around here, those summer months are killer. And uh, she always was busting her butt. I felt bad for her. Okay, so I've stamped this cute little circle sentiment 
on a, a little, I think it's one and a half by one and a half inch piece of basic white. I'm gonna color the hearts with real red and flirty flamingo. Okay. And a little wink of Stella. <laughs> yes, Nancy, that's the reason, I know. We live in a strange time these days, don't we? Things are weird. Things are weird, weird, weird. Don't get me started. Okay, now, here's my favorite piece of paper from that entire um, pack. Pink and red plaid. I didn't know I needed it in my life, but oh my gosh, I need it. It's gorgeous, it's adorable. Um, before we put that on, I'm gonna take, this is a real red card base, and I'm just going to stamp these hearts on the top because most of the bottom two thirds is gonna be covered with this adorbs paper. All right, so I'm gonna put this, you know, I think I did not finish the measurements on those PDFs. I just put the card bases. I'll go back and add those measurements in there. I don't know why I didn't do that. This is, um, I believe, I don't have a ruler, but I believe it's three and a half by four. All right, and this little strip, do you recognize this guy? Look, beep, beep, it's the little fox from Zoo Crew. We're gonna put that right there. And then we've got this little label. I was cutting um, pieces for the Be Mine class, and I used the other little set of dies from this set. There's like the round ones, and then there's the ones that look like little, I don't know, gift tags or something. I used almost every single one of those in that class. I love, this is the Thoughtful Expression dies. The stamp set has like a hummingbird or something, but the labels on it are the cutest. The label dies, or the, I guess they're called label tag. I don't know, the shape dies, they're so cute. And of course they have a stitched edge. All right, so we're gonna take our real red envelope first and put that right here. You know, let me turn this light on because that looks dark. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit better. I cannot get the lighting. Fixed. I need a lighting expert to come out. All right, and then we'll put that one overlapping. We're gonna stick this one in here. Shelly, I'm really glad you told me that because that really gives me hope that maybe it will eventually show up. They're just, you know, like overwhelmed right now. They don't have enough people to do everything. Hopefully they show up before the end of the catalog. <laughs> <laughs> so I can actually use them and show them when I use when I show you guys the stamp sets. All right, I cut these hearts from gold foil, and these these hearts are in this bundle, and they gave us two, so you can cut multiples at once, which I like. So put that there, like that, little gold seal on it, and then we'll take dimensionals, of course, and. On December, oh, Catherine, oh my gosh. I mailed something overnight December 30th. It finally arrived January 17th. I was informed sometimes when the when they empty the bag, pieces get caught in the bag and get sent to some other, oh my gosh. See, that's what I'm thinking. Something like that happened. Now this was a big fat envelope, you know, like a padded envelope. So it would be a little harder to get lost, but overnight, did, hopefully they, do they refund you at least? because overnight ain't cheap. It is pricey. Ugh. What, I mean, did it even get there? Like, it, was it too, too late? I mean, that's 17 days, 18 days, good grief. I'm sure we all have stories that we could share about the post office, and I feel bad because my new postal worker that comes here to the house has been wonderful. We had to work out some kinks, but he is great. He really um, is very sweet. Because I have now a rural, I cannot say that word, rural, rural postal delivery person that isn't, doesn't have to pick up anything or deliver anything that's more than half a mile from the mailbox. And our house is 0 0.6, 6 tenths of a mile. And so in the beginning, he, they were like, oh, well, you, he's not gonna pick anything up. He's not, you're gonna have to go to the post office pretty much every day. And I was very upset, but he's super sweet. He's, he was up here today. He picked up 176 packages with, without a complaint. 
Oh, well, that's good, Catherine. 13 more swaps. Is it? Oh, so it was for a swap, Catherine. Oh, what a pain. Okay, so last but not least, I put, um, this is our Elegant Trim little bow, and I'm just gonna add some gold dots. You can use the Festive Pearls, or you can use these Blooming Pearls. And there you go. Now, wait a minute. We have to do something on the inside too. Where's our little envelope? Where's my black? I'm just gonna go doot, doot, like that. Heart, and boop, and boop. There we go. So cute, so fun. The little circle stamp that I stamped, it's so tiny. Let's see if I can read what it says. <laughs> I don't even know what it says. Um, sent with love, sent with love, sent with love. Okay, so this doesn't have to be a Valentine's card, right? Patience, I saw you say that earlier. Your father worked with the Postal Service for many, many years, so growing up, he never brought junk, he never brought junk mail home. That's why I love my mail so much now, even the junk. I love mail too, Patience. I am the same. My grandfather worked for the Postal Service. Um, he did, he wasn't a delivery, I can't remember exactly what he did. He worked in the post office. And I remember, you probably had these too. Some of you guys may have them. He gave us, when we were kids, a bank that had the old timey, um, I guess it was like a post office box, but it was a, a bank you put money in and you had to do like a little code to open it. I, I always think about that when I think about him working at the post office. He was very proud of that. Okay, we are done with the simple cards. Now, for the thing you guys are probably here for, our little mailbox. Let me make some room and get a drink of soda real quick. Hold on, where did my drink go? It's over here. Okay. Now, this project, many years ago, I was um, an artisan. Stampin' Up! on the Stampin' Up! Artisan Design Team. And this was one of the things I, I had made a mailbox. And it was, in, it was in a project planner I did probably 12 years ago. And so when I saw the stamps that I was like, okay, we have to make a mailbox. But I've got to make it, I've got to simplify it so that it's easy to do right? I don't need it to be super complicated. So I really, I laid in bed thinking about that. Hi, Rosemary. I was just talking about our mail situation. Um, Rosemary, weren't you, weren't we communicating about your package being late, right? And yours got delivered. Mine didn't. Anyway, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'll quit complaining about my mail, you guys. <laughs> anyway, so I was laying in bed thinking about this and I we used to have oval dies, and I was like, how am I gonna do this without an oval die? And then I remembered we have this garden. Um, it's one of our online exclusives. What's it called? And it's not on, I, I did add it to the PDF, but it's not on my garden. It's on the PDF, garden something. And it's the arch right here, okay? So you're gonna need that. You're gonna cut two of those arches. Now, um, also, did I show you how it opens? It just has a little door, and I put some Reese's in there. If you're gonna put candy in there, you probably wanna double up on these. Um, cut two, glue them together, so that it's a little bit sturdier. Um, if it's just gonna be decoration, you probably don't need to do that. So now, we have to cut out the little notch right here for the legs. So I have my square, one of my stylish shaped squares, okay? And I'm gonna get it on there, hopefully straight, straight-ish. <laughs> That's an official stamping up term, straight-ish. Garden Meadows, thank you, Trisha. I couldn't remember what it was called. Um, okay, so then, hi, Ashley, thanks. So then, we do, Lisa, I agree, and some hearts. We need ovals and hearts. All right, so then, there you go, okay? Looks like maybe my front leg's a little fatter than my back leg. It's not gonna matter. Now, these aren't gonna be next to each other on your project, but you really kinda wanna make sure that the, the die is gonna be the same height on this other one. So put that first one there and lay that down and cut the second one. Right, Lisa? I know. Hi, June. Thank you. 
I think you guys will find this isn't real difficult, I hope. I tried to make it pretty simple so that you guys, if you want to make them, if you want to make multiples, it won't, you know, be like horrible. Okay, we're going to decorate the sides um, before we put it all together. So I have cut out 10 of those little white hearts. And we're going to use our take your pick tool. And I'm going to lay them down first. I saw some really, a really cute mailbox with a string of hearts on the side. And it actually had the string going through it, but I was like, okay, we need to simplify that because that's tedious. So how can we make a string of hearts less tedious? We're just gonna put them on here and just connect them like that. And then we'll put, we're gonna put a little bow on each side, all right? Also, I hadn't mentioned that I do have YouTube recordings of these projects. Um, my YouTube recordings are a little bit better than Facebook Lives because I can zoom in, I can edit. I'm not talking about lost mail. <laughs> so if you come back to make this project, you'll find it on my YouTube channel um, by itself, okay? All right, so I put them there first just so that I can, um, you know, put my little dots of glue. Why does it take the glue so long to get down to the bottom? Okay, and you just wanna use a tiny dot. A dot is a lot, as we say in kindergarten. A dot is a lot. And I'm using my left hand, which feels very weird. Um, also, when you use glue, it's gonna give you the opportunity to move things over if you need to. Okay, there's that one, and let's do this one. So this mailbox, how cute would it be in blueberry bushel? Right, patience, I wanna see you make one in honor of your daddy and blueberry bushel, like a like a, a real mailbox. I mean, I had to do red because, you know, it's Valentine's Day. All right, so now we've got that on there. I have tied ahead of time these tiny little twine bows, and we're just going to put those in the corner so it looks like they're strung together, but there's, there's no string, okay? The only thing about doing this ahead of time is that when we go to put this together, these kind of get in the way. So you might want to wait and put the bows on at the end. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it. How cute. All right, now let's get that mail stamp. Let's clean it. And Shammy, where are you? Right here. Again, let's see if I can stamp this straight. We're gonna stamp this. This is the nested essential dies. Um, Lisa, it's been, it was really uh, windy here today too. It's finally died down. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta make it just angle down just a bit. These are the smallest, ooh, good, I got it. These are the smallest nested essential rectangles. You want one for each side and um, one of the two mailmans to first deliver mail on foot. Cliffy, I missed the beginning. What did you say? My gramps was one of two mailmen in Oregon who delivered mail on foot in a small town I grew up in. He would stop and have one. Oh, that's a cute story. The good old days. A simpler time, right? Wow, I bet he was fit delivering mail by foot. You never had to worry about exercising. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside, give it some time to dry while we work on the other things. All right, for the front, you I mean, you can really decorate these in lots of ways. Um, I, if I can find all my bits and pieces. Oh, come on, it slid underneath. No, hold on, you guys. It slid under the edge of my tray. There we go. Okay. So for, for the front of mine, I've cut a little piece of that most adorned paper and cut out one of the flowers. That's the same paper that's just the back side. I cut it out with my scissors, my paper snips, okay? Thanks, Jessica. Um, you know, I, I did this project a long time ago when I was doing things that were more complicated when I was an artist and design person. And now 
I needed to do something simpler, right? So that we could all do it. Didn't need like 500 steps. And so I really, really worked in my brain trying to work this one out. And I think it's pretty simple. Because if you're gonna recreate these, especially if you're gonna make multiples, it needs to be simple. All right, so here are two more envelopes. I already stamped them and cut them. Real red on white, flirty flamingo ink on flirty flamingo cardstock. We're gonna do that circle again, if I can find it, that little circle. The other, there's another circle in this stamp set that says something. Of course, now mine has disappeared and gone. It's under this tray over here, let me grab it. This one, I miss you, that would be cute. Welcome friend is a cute one too. I don't know if that would really go with this. But just even like a hello. I think a hello would be cute with this. They should have put a hello in here because that would have been just a cute little simple sentiment to use with the mail, any of the mailboxes. But you can also look in your stamps. I'm sure you have a stamp that says hello or thinking of you or thanks or whatever. Um, I will probably give one of these to my mail guy. Now my girl, my mail woman at my other place, she totally would appreciate all my little paper crafts. I'm not sure this, this guy, he doesn't seem like he's into paper crafts. <laughs> so I don't know how much I uh, wanna give him my precious paper crafts. Cause I don't know, I don't know what he'll do. Um, what show are we talking about? The Trust, A Game Show of Greed. Ooh, is it a reality? Like, is it real or is it fiction, Nancy? You have to let us know. Because um, I'm always looking for things to watch. We started watching Slow Horses on Apple. Somebody, I, I saw somebody post about it. It was like one of the best things I've ever seen on TV. And I'm kind of having a hard time getting into it. I don't think it's that great. Then we have also watched, what else? We really didn't watch anything this week. We're kind of in a slump, so tell me. It's, so it's real. Ooh, and are people like nasty and rude and mean? I don't like that. What's wrong with people? Okay, now here comes a part you guys really need to pay attention to. <laughs> okay? You're going to need a piece of real red. Let me get my notes. You're going to need a piece of real red. That measures three and a half by, no, yes, three and a half by ten and a half. On the short side, you're going to score it at half an inch and at three inches. Turn it to the long side and score it at two, five, and seven, okay? Now you've got a small section, a medium section, a small section, and then a large section. This large section is gonna be the part that's gonna be rounded. So we're gonna take our bone folder. Why am I losing everything today? Take your bone folder and kind of, you know how you would curl ribbon? Kind of curl it like that. Just telling the, hey, look, buddy, this is what I'm gonna need you to do when we get over here, okay? So do that. Then you wanna burnish those lines really good. And do these like this, okay? And I'm gonna use tear and tape simply because of, I think it's just the easiest option here. Put your tear and tape right along that score line, like that, right along this score line. Don't cut your, your score line yet, your, your little snips here. Don't do it yet, because if we put this adhesive down first, it's gonna be a lot easier than having to remove, oh, what's happening? It's gonna be a lot easier going like this and removing it all at once, then having to snip and peel and snip and peel and snip and peel, okay? All right, so now remember, here's the part that we kind of curved. We're gonna snip these score lines, snip, stopping right at that horizontal score line, snip. And then right here, we're going to just kind of fringe this um, entire segment stopping at that horizontal score line. My adhesive looks like I didn't push it down, like it's gonna pop off. Okay, so now same thing over here, fringe. This is gonna help you 
go around that rounded um, top edge of your mailbox. And we'll do this one right here. Okay, now here's the fringed rounded edge. We're gonna take the others and we're gonna just set it up like a U shape. Kind of uh, get those corners so that they are square. And then do this one too. Inside or outside, doesn't matter which way you fold it, just as long as it's like that. Okay, so now you've got this. And we're gonna start by laying this down you need it to be above your legs there, okay? And you want it to be right on the edges of the box. And it's a tight fit, I'm gonna tell you, it's a tight fit. Let's see, I'm gonna put that right there on the edge, push that adhesive down, come over here to this edge and Push that down like that. Okay, so see where we are right now? See how we've got that? We've, the straight edges we've pushed in. Now slowly, this is the part I said this would get stuck in. Let me pull it out because it is getting stuck. Now slowly, just round it. Take it, oh, I'm not in the frame. Go around and around and around and bend it to your will. <laughs> Make it bend, and it will. All right, and the thing about that tear and tape is that it'll pop up until you really press it in. Okay, so once you've got it in place, take your bone folder and really just burnish all those sides. Okay, now the next part is pretty easy. Um, the one thing you wanna do here is to make sure that they're gonna be straight. The legs aren't gonna wobble, so I just kind of set them like that and look at it to make sure that we're not gonna be a, a wobbly mailbox. Okay, so push all that in, and then again, bend it to match the top of your little piece. This, this arch from the Garden Meadow um, dies. I love it because it has a little stitching too. It makes it even cuter. Okay, so now we've got that in place and that's what it looks like. Really important to take your bone folder and go in there and make sure those guys are stuck down to the sides. Okay, and that's your basic box. Now I'm gonna cover this kind of, cause this looks kind of awkward right here. I cut just um, a white piece. Uh, this, this is from Zany Zoo or Zoo Crew. I can never remember which it's called. Zany Zoo dies. It's just a white little border and I'm gonna stick it on here just to kind of make that look a little cuter. I made it a little bit long and it's also cut per good cause that's how I do things. Okay. Get that squished on there. What do you guys think? Is this simple enough? Is this too tricky? Or do you think that, that this is something you're gonna wanna do? You're gonna need one more piece, I should have done this earlier, one more piece of Real Red that measures two and a half by two and a half. And on one of the sides, you're gonna score it at half an inch and one and a half. It doesn't matter which side because they're the same, um, you know, this side is the same as that side. All right, so now we're gonna bend this basically like, like a, a Z, okay? And right here on this side, we're gonna put, oh good, I hope you guys will make this. I hope you will, Kathy. It's real cute. I think it's cute anyway. You know what would be real cute is a rainbow of mailboxes. A pink, an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue, like a turquoise and a purple. That would be so cute. Okay, so now take this and just match it right there with that edge. 
and then this goes in and closes like that, okay? In order to pull this out, the easiest thing that I came up with is just to take a little loop of ribbon and stick it on here. All I'm using for this ribbon loop is glue dots. Um, if you're gonna give this to somebody, you might wanna hot glue this part. Uh, mine seems pretty sturdy, but you know, when it's out in the world, it might come off. So um, maybe a little hot glue for this would, wouldn't be a bad idea. So I'm just gonna fold just a little piece of ribbon in half like that. And I'm so glad you guys like it. I was so excited. You know, I make projects every week and sometimes there's just one that's extra special and I feel like this one is extra special. All right, I stacked two glue dots there and then we're gonna fold it in and put it right there so it kind of sticks out like that. And then last but not least, we will put our little decoration on the front. Now, I'll show you, you can put any kind of candy you want in here. Um, probably th lighter candy, not terribly heavy. Um, but I found that, I think I got four or five of these in here. These pink hearts, they're not the, the full size ones, they're like smaller. Um, yeah, five of them and still room to spare. So, you know, it holds quite a bit. Um, you could also put the Ghirardelli hearts or, um, I don't know, anything, Hershey Kisses, whatever. All right, so there you go. Oh, I forgot to put Wink of Stella. Um, I do think you probably want to secure this by doubling up. See how the legs bend in? I mean, it's fine if you're gentle with it, but I don't know, you know, depending on who you're going to give it to, it might need to be sturdier. Okay, you guys, that's it. How cute and fun. I'm so excited. I really, really hope you guys will make this. Um, yes, Carla, I actually had some of those here earlier. I had the pink ones, and they looked really cute with it. All right, now I have two bonus projects for you. Remember, I don't have a swap card, so I can't show you any other swap cards, but this was yesterday's card on my blog. And then this one is for Monday, and the postage uh, rectangle dies go really well with this stamp set. I tried to get away from the Valentine colors. Um, and then uh, inside I did another little postage rectangle. So I highly recommend this set, the envelope die, the envelope stamp. It is full of super, super cute things. And I, I really, really love it. Okay, that's it for me today, you guys. Um, remember, if you want this as a project kit, yes, it'll include your little mailbox and it'll include a kit for this card and a kit for this card. I will send it to you for free um, as a thank you for an order that is more, $35 or more, okay? And here's the host code up here. It's also on today's PDF right here and today's blog post if you need it. Um, I guess that's it. Next week, I think we're going to do the Sunny Days paper, I think. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence. Yes, actually, I'm just looking at ordered something really cute from Amazon to go with that. So probably next week, the little clouds will be what we do. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. Stay warm. Thanks for joining me today. And Kate, good. I want to see yours, Kate. And, uh, Hopefully you'll join me next week. Let me know if you have questions, okay? Thanks, guys. Bye.